So in my last video I said stay tuned for AFR cylinder head. Well, uh, that was the plan, and uh, well, you're not looking at an AFR cylinder head right now. You're looking at uh, an alternative. Uh, the thing is, is I couldn't afford, I couldn't justify spending so much money on a cylinder head like that because they just kept getting more and more expensive as I had been waiting to afford one. So uh, this thing sort of fell into my lap, and um, well... Here's what it is. It's a it's a B and M one forty four supercharger, and it uh, it cost me far less than uh, what a AFR cylinder head was going to cost me. And uh, really, the reason why I wanted that cylinder head was uh, my dyno my dyno day didn't go is as, uh, as good as I thought it was going to. I made a lot less power, and I think what it was is uh, it wasn't my cam. It uh, had something to do with my valves, which I'll be taking care of pretty soon, or valve springs, I should say, but what it really had to do with my low compression, and I wanted something to uh, boost that compression up, and what better way to do that with an additional um, six pounds of boost. And uh, so this blower is used. I picked it up for $1,000, um, but the cool thing about this is that uh, the rotors, the Teflon rotors, the Teflon strips on the rotors um, have been replaced and the motor's been fully rebuilt and uh, even just turning this with my hand you can hear it wanting to suck air and I know it's gonna it's I know it makes boost because it makes boost from just turning it with my hand and you'll see here that uh, you can see writing in it uh, from when the last person who owned it put it back together so I know that it hasn't been used since it's been rebuilt um, and this whole but you'll the only thing is is that uh, this blower was made for a 302 and what I have in my Mustang is a 351 Windsor so this lower manifold is not going to work as is, it's not something that's ready to run so what I had to do is I had to buy some adapter plates from a company called Price Motorsport and that's a a small company in Indiana and uh, they make a lot of uh, performance Ford, custom performance Ford um, applications and Here's what they here's what they made up for me. They made a set of adapter plates that's going to be sandwiched between my um, my narrow 302 manifold and my 351 Windsor block to make this blower work. Um, it's made out of billet aluminum, and um, it came with a kit actually. These uh, well, you'll. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can price them out yourself, but it was around $300 for these uh, adapter plates and this, uh, valley, this valley tray, which is going to be, well, my intake manifold is going to be raised up about an inch and a quarter now, and that means I'll be seeing underneath my intake manifold, and you'll be seeing my push rods and whatnot. So this tray is, this is going to be tapped onto my block so that all of those, uh, all of those goodies are going to be covered up, um, and I don't have to, have, I don't have to worry about any of that. Um, and it also they also threw in some uh, the double um, intake manifold gaskets to use with these plates, which is cool. And uh, one piece of that kit that they had uh, given me, or actually they didn't give it to me by any means, but uh, part of the piece that came that I had to buy extra was there's this little piece that goes underneath my distributor to raise it up an inch and a quarter. And the reason why you also have to lift up your distributor when you're switching from a 302 manifold on a 351 is because the thermostat housing is also going to be lift up an inch and a quarter and if you've got a large distributor like I do, I've got a large MST distributor um, that thermostat housing is going to want to it's going to want to be inside that cap so you have to raise up the distributor as much as you're raising up the um, intake manifold so um, as far as the the kit, the, everything you need from Price Motorsports will sell you everything you need to go from a 302 manifold on a 351. And th I'm using it for this blower application, but really, the the good thing about this is that the people really didn't make any unique intake manifolds for the 351 Windsor. And so basically, you can get a medium rise 351 manifold. You can get an air gap, 351 manifold, but basically just single four seems like that's all the, that's offered. And um, so, but the 302 and the 289, on the other hand, they have a variety of intake manifolds. You can get 
um, a triple deuce setup. You can have dual quads, you can have tunnel rams, superchargers. So basically with this kit you can put any intake manifold on for a 302 on a 351 Windsor. Um, oh, okay, and as far as what everything that I got for my supercharger, um, the kit typically sells for about $25 to $3,000. And uh, that comes with a the blower, the manifold, um, the, the belt tensioner, um, the belt itself, pulley, pulley spacer. And uh, I got mine with a boost gauge, but I don't know if that's what they come with. Um, from the factory, um, and I should note that uh, I, I picked up this whole this whole thing for a thousand dollars. Not not the spacer place, but just the blower for a thousand bucks. And one thing, if you're going to be doing the same project on your 351, um, I haven't got to this point yet, but I've heard that I'm going to need a longer belt that's about an inch long. But fortunately, uh, Napa or whoever your auto parts dealer is, um, they can get you. Um, the belt you need. It's just a 10 rib serpentine belt um, or it might be a 6 rib depending on the blower that you have. So um, yep, this is a uh, part one, how to install a Roots blower on a 351 Windsor. Um, I'm making this because I wish that someone had made me for, made one for me and uh, so I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna make one for you since no one made one for me. So uh, stay tuned in the next couple of weeks um, we'll have we'll have a 351 Windsor that's making about 40% more power, so that's always something that uh, that's pretty cool. So we'll see you guys. Bye.